You must follow me carefully. I shall have to controvert one or two ideas that are almost universally accepted. Our mental existences, which are immaterial and have no dimensions, are passing along the time dimension with a uniform velocity from the cradle to the grave. But you are wrong to say that we cannot move about in time. Bear witness to my experiments, where my mind travels 10 seconds into the future, and so subsequently, the image of my body follows. The image of this phenomenon happens so quickly. And my physical body simultaneously this phenomenon appears to me happens so quickly. Let me explain that my physical body the day, simultaneously, simultaneously appears to me. We become acutely aware that time is running out of We think. Let me explain. Towards the end of the day, say around 5:19 p.m., we become acutely aware that time is running out for daylight. We think that it will be dark in nearly an hour, and suddenly, the time is nearly an hour from now. Sight is key to this phenomenon. If you envision a moment in true clarity. You can see yourself even weeks before at a time. Traveling to the past tends to be more dynamic than traveling to the future. The past presents itself in motion, so as to show you that I am no longer sitting here with you, but I am contemplating how to relay this phenomenon to you in the future, in the present. You must follow me carefully. I shall have to controvert one or two ideas that are almost universally accepted.